Hello, and welcome to Like a Native Speaker. In this lesson, we're all aboard the African train. Choo choo! In a previous lesson, I talked about sibilant sounds, the kind of sound we make by creating that channel with our tongue. An affricate is just a sibilant sound with a stop sound before it. In English, we only have two affricate sounds, ch and j. Of course, these are a pair, voiceless, ch, and voiced, j. And so, for the voiceless affricate, ch, we combine the voiceless stop, t, with the voiceless sibilant sound, The ch sound is different from the t sound in the way that it finishes. The beginning of the sound is the same, with the tongue behind the teeth. T ch but the end is different. In the t sound, the tongue completely leaves the top of the mouth. T t t in the affricate sound, the beginning is the same, with the tongue stopping all air, but instead of releasing completely, it moves from stopping all air into that channel. So the tongue moves differently. Instead of t, it becomes t, 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 t. The tongue moves from the T position into that channel to move the air through. From t to sh, t, sh, t, sh, t, t, t. And this is exactly the same for the voiced sound. J, da, da, da. The D sound completely releases the tongue, but the J sound does not completely release the tongue. It moves from stopping the air into that channel. The only difference is your voice. Also remember that the affricate sounds are short. Ch, j. If we extend them, make them longer, they turn into their sibilant sounds. and j sound. If these sounds are pronounced too long, it could be confused for the sh or j sound. So they must be short. Now, if you're having difficulty listening to the difference between j, the affricate sound, and j, the sibilant sound, here's a tip. The affricate sound contains a stop. So the affricate will always have a bit stronger aspiration. The air will be harder, more sudden, less smooth. For example, in the word pledger, pledger, jer, jer, jer. Compared with the sibilant sound, zh, where the sound will be smooth, there's not a hard beginning to it. Pleasure, 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 pledger, pleasure, pledger, pleasure, pledger, pleasure. So keep that in mind, that the affricate sound has that stop, so there's that aspiration, that explosion of air, pledger. And if you listen for that, it should become a little bit easier. So to review, English has two affricate sounds, ch and j, and they're made by combining the voiceless sounds, t and sh, or the voice sound, d and j, ch, j, ch, j. And the main thing to remember is that you have both a stop and that air channel with your tongue. Ch, j, compared with the sibilant sounds that are just the air channel, that smooth air. S, z, sh, j. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments section below. I will be sure to answer them. And as always, I'll see you next time and keep learning.